Good morning. Look at Paisley's hair. I braided it last night and it's all like wavy. It looks cute. I had on my little uh, scarf right here and it was so funny. <laughs> But we're at school, and I think that I'm going to change up my morning routine. And instead of doing morning work, have like morning tubs so that I am not worried with what they're doing in the morning. They're on task. Um, you know, they're doing things that they want to do instead of work. So I'm hoping that that will help my morning go a little bit smoother. And then, plus, I can you know, work with a small group or kids who actually need me in the mornings. And I got the idea from a friend of mine who teaches in a neighboring county, and this is what she does. And she gave me some tips and ideas, and so I think I might try it. Not today, because I've got to get the tubs and get everything ready. But I am going to not do morning work today. I'm going to have my kids do puzzles or um, connecting cubes. So hopefully we'll see how that goes. Uh, I do have several kids who have mailbox work left in their mailboxes, so that will be what they need to do. And hopefully doing puzzles and more, you know, things that aren't necessarily schoolwork will motivate them to get their work done. I'm having to clock in, I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna try that this morning. I'm pretty excited about it. I do have that one girl to finish for M-class testing and then I'll be back to normal, hallelujah. I have to meet with my grade level for our formal PLC today. We're gonna be talking about some assessments we gave a while back and kind of looking at the data from those with our curriculum coach and math coach and principal. And then after school today, I don't have anywhere I have to be. So I'm going to stay probably a little later today and get some stuff done. Hi. <laughs> I do need to go home and work on editing because I'm a little behind. And I have to do my Friday folders because my assistant is going on a field trip tomorrow with about 30 of the second graders to go get dental sealants put on their teeth. So she won't be here to do them. So I will be doing them. So I might get be able to get them done this afternoon and then I'll have to worry about it tomorrow. Oh, and tomorrow is an early release day. Did you know that, Paisley? Tomorrow. Tomorrow's early release. Oh, yeah. So that is exciting. Oh, and it's a free early release. So we don't have to meet with anyone. We don't have to go to any meetings or have a PLC or any of that. So that's really good because grades are due and I need to do my grades. But I'm gonna quit rambling and get off here and work on my morning routine board since I'm changing things up a bit. And I will check in with you guys at lunch. Yes. What'd you say you organized your book bag because it was a mess? Would you just shove everything in there? No. Well, why was it a mess? Nothing was organized. <laughs> everything was in the bottom of my book bag. Do you like to be organized? You get that from your mama. Hello again. It is lunchtime. I just dropped my kids off and made a few copies, and I brought my lunch back in here. I'm eating school lunch today. This is what they're having. They're also having chicken butts, but I wanted meatloaf. So we have meatloaf and a roll, cantaloupe, mashed potatoes, and greens. And I'm so excited to eat this because it looks so yummy. So I'm going to eat my lunch and check my emails. When my kids get back, we are going to finish watching a video we started yesterday on producers and consumers. And then they are going to work on a sheet um, where they have to write down, well, they have to read the, um, I can't talk. Over in the left column are some things, and they have to write whether it's a good or a service and why. And then in the bottom two blanks, they get to come up with their own examples. And then if we have time, we're going to do a quiz. If not, we'll do the quiz tomorrow. 
And then during my PLC today, I have to meet. I think I said that already. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, cause I only have 10 minutes. And check my emails, and I will catch back up with you guys sometime. I don't know, probably after school. Why is it a service? Because the man or the lady that's doing the hair is doing it for someone else. Exactly. They're both services. So I could just do an arrow and point it down there, right? That's fine. Is babysitting a good or a service? Service. Why is it a service? Because they because people um, babies for the mamas for other people so they do that for the other people that's yeah. right here we are at the end of the day my kids are going home and i do not know why but i feel so flustered at the end of every day let me take that back i feel flustered every time i do math rotations and i did math rotations today it's just so much. It's so much going on. I have kids doing things on the computer. I have kids playing math games. I have kids working on story problems. And my assistant was in here today and she had a group working on story problems. And I had a group working on this ridiculous math game called plus or minus 10, five in a row. I don't even have time to explain the game. It's so complicated. Um, a couple of my kids though started, you know, picking it up right away and getting it done and, you know, truly understanding what they were doing. So I'll go ahead and show you what they have to do. So they get digit cards, which are just cards with numbers on it, zero through nine. And they pick a chart. So this girl picked a 500 chart, which means every number on this chart has a four in the hundreds place except 500. So she takes the four digit card and she keeps that card at all times. Then she draws two more cards and she lays those two cards in the tens place and ones place. And then you write the two possible choices. So like four, okay, that's not a good choice. That's not a good example. This one, she had the four and then she chose a nine and a six. So her two possible numbers are 496 or 469. And so then she has to choose one and either add or subtract 10. And then this number is the number she covers on this board. So 459. And the goal is to get five in a row. That is like, so many steps. They have to draw the card, write the possible numbers, choose one, add or subtract 10, and then cover that number. And in order to get five in a row, they have to strat you know, use strategies, like figure out which number is going to get them closest to five in a row. I get stressed out thinking about that game. So anyways, I did not get to meet with my lowest group today, which is probably a good thing because I probably would be even more stressed out. But my high group and my other two middle groups did pretty good on it. I'm not sure that they could do it on their own, but they did pretty good with me. So I'm thinking about doing math rotations again tomorrow and just having this as one of the rotations since they've already had a chance to play, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do it on their own. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I may just move on. But, like I said earlier, I don't have any 
meetings or anything to do after school today. So I'm gonna work on my newsletter because I have to do my Friday folders this afternoon since my assistant's gonna be on that trip tomorrow. I need to look over my plans for tomorrow and make sure I have enough things printed and copied because I'm gonna have three extra students tomorrow from another class. Actually, I have five going, so that should work out if I'm having three from another class. And I have a few papers I need to grade. So I might not be here as long as I thought. But I'm gonna work on those things and I will touch base with you guys before I head out. It is finally time for me to head home. I just got my car, it's almost five o'clock. And I worked pretty hard this afternoon. I topped up some math problems for my kids to do during one of our math rotations next week. Tomorrow's an early release day, so we don't have math tomorrow. And I made some copies of some stuff for a game. I graded some papers, I filed papers and stuffed Friday folders. I got my morning routine board ready and lunch choices and all that ready for in the morning. So I feel pretty good about that. So now I'm gonna head home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see videos from me in the future and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, bye. Good morning, it's Friday, and I'm so excited for Friday. Y'all, I went home yesterday, literally. I left here at five o'clock, drove straight home, uh, walked in the door, heated up some leftovers, watched one video on YouTube, and laid down on the couch and fell asleep till 9.30. And then got up, went and brushed my teeth, washed my face, and went to bed and slept till six o'clock this morning. And I still don't feel rested. I have just gone nonstop. This has been the longest week. But it's Friday and I'm super excited about that. We have a couple of kids leaving to go get dental sealants on their teeth today. So my class will be a little different. Um, but it's an early release day, so that's exciting. And this afternoon we get to have a free afternoon. We don't have to meet in our grade levels. And yeah, so that's really good news. I do have a list of things I wanna get done this afternoon. Grades being one of the big things on my list because report cards go home February 2nd. <clears throat> so yeah. I literally just walked in and sat down. Oh, I went to Dunkin' Donuts this morning and got my coffee, which I love. And I downloaded the app, the Dunkin' Donuts app, and signed up and um, I guess when you sign up, you have to put in like a debit card or something. But I went ahead and did that while I was sitting in line. And then when I got up to the register or to the window, I had a reward for a free beverage. So my coffee was free today, which is even better. Um, 
So yeah, if you go to Dunkin' Donuts and you don't have the Dunkin' Donuts app, you need to get it because I think when you sign up, you get a free beverage. Plus they have other perks too, you know, that you get every so often. So that was a nice Friday surprise. I'm wearing a pretty thin turtleneck shirt. It's kind of flowy today. Um, and then just jeans. And then I have for my shoes, just some, you know, little black booties. I thought I would dress comfortably today since it's Friday and an early release. So yeah, I am going to jump off here and get everything ready for my kiddos and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, Kid Husky, you got me. No, my oxen. Come on, Aviva. Musk oxen are so awesome. Aviva, look at these incredible wolves. And just like that, my kids are in specials. They have computer lab today. Um, Usually on Fridays we have STEM lab, but they won't get their new challenge until Friday this week, next week, excuse me. So they're just doing ABC uh, in the computer lab today. I just got word from my principal that the kids who were on the dental sealant trip were getting on the bus to head back and the bus won't start. And we dismiss at 12.30 and it's 12 o'clock and they're like 20 minutes away. So they are probably not gonna make it back by 12.30. She's going to let the second grade teachers and she by she I mean my assistant principal is gonna let the second grade teachers know if we need to call the parents and have them come pick up their kids because the bus probably won't get back in time I cannot believe that happened um, but we've had a pretty good day uh, a lot of my kids who had mailbox work that didn't go on the trip finished their mailbox work or got a big chunk of their mailbox work finished and um, my phone is ringing or something so anyways, while my kids are in computer lab, I am going to try to work on plans for next week because once they leave, I've got some things that I need to do. I actually have a list of things I need to do today. So these are some things I need to do. I need to pull math pages for the next unit. I'm thinking about doing the morning tubs, a field trip note, Valentine's letter, grades, wise groups, word work packets. I need to do some laminating sign up for a benefits meeting, which I just did, so I need to mark that off, and then my bulletin board I need to work on. So I have lots to do this afternoon, and hopefully I can get it all done. That would be awesome. I need to get some tubs for my morning tubs. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I have those baskets. I don't know. I need to kinda see what I have to use, so I don't have to buy anything for that. So yeah, I'm gonna work on my plans, and I'll check back in with you guys when my kids go home. I ended up not being able to plan during my planning because we had to call the parents of the students who were on the trip and let their parents know that they were not going to be back in time for dismissal so that they would need to be a car rider and someone would need to come pick them up. So I spent all but 10 minutes of my planning doing that. Um, it is one, no, it is 1245 and all of my students are going home except those obviously so i'm back in my room and i have a headache again i went to the chiropractor the other day i think it was wednesday and he said that the second vertebra in my neck was rotated and uh said he hadn't seen that in a while <clears throat> so he fixed me and I felt good when I left and I felt good yesterday and then I woke up this morning feeling like it's moved again so that is not a great feeling and it's causing me to have a headache which is unfortunate because I have lots to do today and I don't want a headache to bring me down at one o'clock we're actually meeting with our title one teacher to talk about something she sent an email and said she had something she wanted to run by us. So at one o'clock we're gonna be doing that. And then I'm gonna be working on my list until probably 3.30 or so. I would love to be able to leave at 3.30 today. So I'm gonna work on my plans and go to that meeting, or I think she's coming in here. And then, <sighs> you guys, I told you how long I slept last night. 
Did I tell you how long I slept last night? I think I did. But I've been yawning all week, like at random times of the day, and I don't usually do that, so I must be like overly exhausted. Oh, and I'm gonna. Okay, we just wanted to let you know the water is back on. Water's back on. I didn't even know the water was off. So I am going to get some work done and I'll see you guys in a little while. I am still at school and I've only crossed two things off my list. So the meeting that we were supposed to have at one o'clock didn't start until 1.15, but I will say it was like the best news I've heard in a while. Um, we are going to, we have tutors come into our classroom um, every morning for 30 minutes and we usually give them a group of kids to work on skills with like reading comprehension skills or fluency or decoding or nonsense words or whatever it may be and our title one teachers told us that our tutors can do our progress monitoring now so I heard the angels singing when they said that and it just made me so happy because now while they are progress monitoring, I can be teaching a small group of kids. So that is like the best news I've had in a long time. So we met and did that for a little while. We talked about that. And then I did my grades. So I put all my grades in for ELA and math for report cards. So that's done. I also printed out my class dojo reports, which I need to go get off the printer. And what else did I do? And I've just been planning since then. But the grades and the meeting were at least an hour. So I've been planning and making copies and getting things ready for next week. Oh, I had to get some books for a small group that I'm doing next week. I only crossed two things off my list, but that is okay. I also signed up for my benefits meeting. I think I am going to get some morning tubs ready for my kids to do when they come in on Monday and then probably take some stuff home to work on this weekend. Y'all, that news about our tutors doing progress monitoring is like such a relief such a relief. I'm just so happy for that <laughs> because I wasn't doing any teaching. I was progress monitoring every single day during our um, lip block rotations. And so now I can actually meet with a group and teach and work on things that they're struggling with. And I just feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. But I am going to end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog today. It wasn't much, and I'm sorry for that because it was an early release, and I just had those meetings this afternoon. But if you enjoyed this, nonetheless, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos from me. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.